I was completely and 100% atheist. I did not believe in God. I didn't believe in spirituality um, at all. I thought believing in such things was silly. I was just a strong believer in science and that was about it. And um, I was not a good person by any means, by any standard. I was hateful and hurtful. I hurt a lot of people and I was just miserable. I was just a miserable person. I was really good at hiding it too. I was pretty fake about it, but anyway, um, right after high school, I had joined the Navy and during my time in the Navy, I had picked up some pretty bad habits um, and I was living a really sinful life. Um, around 2013, I had developed an eating disorder and this eating disorder it grew more and more aggressive as the years went by. After I got out of the Navy, I enrolled in college. And after a few science classes, um, my disbelief in God only grew. And I thought I was so wise and I was just so educated. And everybody who believed in God, um, to me, was just blind to logic. Um, or delusional or simply ignoring facts. I used to enjoy when people would bring up God so that I could so that I could try and destroy their argument with like science or moral philosophy or just I would ask them impossible questions. Remember for some reason I hated when people would talk about Jesus in particular and I understand why now but back then I I couldn't identify why he bothered me so much. Um, I felt threatened when somebody would bring him up. Not a law or any other religion um, or any other religious figure, but Jesus in particular. I thought it was a man-made construct um, that was pretty much utilized by the government or a comfort blanket for people to use. Even though I would pretty much laugh at other people who believed in Jesus and God um, in general, in my mind, for being so brainwashed um, and trapped into feeling guilty about so-called sinning um i thought that was to me it was crazy to me i just it didn't make sense and my mentality towards christians and anyone who was religious was like you're wasting your entire life trying to live by these impossible standards and these rules that supposedly god created just to go to a place after you die where you never die. You get it. I mean, I've painted a pretty clear picture of my mentality towards religion. So fast forward to 2017, during my second year of college, um, we were studying DNA. And I remember just being so fascinated with all of the fundamentals of life and what created it all. And like for months, I was... I was completely in awe of what I was learning in class, like completely fascinated. And for some reason, having to accept that all living material and all of its complexities, having to accept that everything just formed on its own, by itself, on accident, it was just, to me, like, it didn't make sense to me. This really bothered me um, because deep down, I didn't want to believe something could have created us humans. Um, I didn't want that responsibility, but still I was fascinated and I, I couldn't ignore it. I would stay after and talk to my professor about all of the questions I had. And most of these questions that I had my science, my bio professor 
couldn't even answer. I mean, nobody could answer them because they were just way out there. I became obsessed. I obsessed. I, I would listen to these science podcasts and I would YouTube um, different scientists who would discuss the origins of life. Um, and I would watch documentaries of different theories on the evolution of life and you know just multiple different theories on life and, and but i still had that question of how did nothing turn into something could god be real like could that be a possibility and i didn't like i said before i didn't want this to be true i hated the idea of god existing because it felt threatening to my life, to my lifestyle. The labels and the stereotypes that I, I had personally against, you know, on, well, on religion and spirituality and, and such, that played into it. But I eventually I recognized my biases and I knew that I was being closed-minded towards, you know, the alternative, which was God. And so I started researching um, creation theories involving God. And I even took up this world religions class. Again, long story short, I went from being a hundred percent atheist from believing in nothing to believing in maybe something. And I thought, what if I reached out and some external force from outer space or another dimension would hear my cry of desperation and would give me some sort of validation, some sort of interdimensional sign of some sort that I could hold on to, that, that I could have just, just, to, just to be clear, just to be sure. I was just desperate to know. I just wanted to know, you know? I wanted the answers. So in my car, I got home, I was in my driveway, and in my car, I said a prayer. And I refused to call it a prayer at this time, but I, I was, basically I said, God, if you're real and you really exist, would you not want me to know you? Would you want me to wonder forever about if you exist or would you want me to know you? And I said that, I literally, I said that. And I remember saying, I remember saying, I don't want to be disrespectful to you. But I just, if you're there, I want you to give me a sign and I will believe. And like, looking back at this time, like, little did I know, like, little did I know that in the next six months, the next six months would go on to be the most incredible, yet extremely terrifying months of my entire life um, at that point. And really really strange things started happening to me at the time i didn't want to believe in the christian god because in my mind i thought it was too cliche um to believe in that specific god i thought that was closed-minded and i just felt really biased towards christianity like against christianity and i just i thought if there was a God, it was not confined to that specific one, if that makes any sense. Hinduism, Islam, Jainism, Buddhism, um, you name it, I knew about it. I was researching it. Um, but it wasn't until I, I finally started to learn about Jesus Christ and his character that I began to change my mind um, a little bit um, in terms of what I felt about Christ and um, Christianity in general. And I was so intrigued. It was, Jesus stood out to me in his teachings and his demeanor. And I started, I started studying the Bible and learning about Jesus and the meaning of his life and death and and what he claimed his purpose was for and 
you know, I ended up finding out that his purpose was essentially like his purpose was it was for me. So fast forward to December of 2017. And like I mentioned before, um, during this time, I had been struggling with an eating disorder, um, bulimia and anorexia, um, which had been occurring daily for about four years straight at that point. Um, it controlled my entire life. Um, I felt like I was trapped in this violent cycle that would never end, never end. No matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't break out of it. I remember being in the bathroom. I was in the bathtub and I was, I was throwing up and, um, I remember feeling like, um, how long will I keep doing this? How long will I keep this up and will it ever stop? And um, this is the first time I actually broke down this way. I was crying and the water was running and I just felt so enslaved by this addiction, by this disease. And without a premeditated thought, out of nowhere, in my head, I said, Jesus. And um, I said this in my mind. I didn't say it out loud. I said it in my mind. I said, just Jesus in my most vulnerable and desperate state. And I can't explain the feeling. I can't explain the feeling, um, but it was, love, someone loved me, I, I, stillness, peace, within seconds, immediately, I felt the crying stopped, I, I, not on my own. And something had come over my entire being. And it was, I, I cannot explain it. I just, there's no, there are no words. I am incapable of explaining the way I felt. It was something I've never, I cannot begin to even try. I there's love just the the closest thing I've ever felt to the feeling that, feeling that I had is love. Love. The entire room was it was it was Jesus. Jesus was with me. And I can't believe I still to this day it blows my mind like He saved me in a second, in one second, he had saved me.